Hi guys, I showed you I bought this Ferrari F40 friction powered car in the charity shop. I did say I will eventually convert it to radio control, but in the meantime I converted it to rubber band power. And in that video I took apart the friction motor very quickly. And I just thought I might do a slower video so we can actually see the parts and see what it is that's actually broken in it. So, I've already taken the screws out, so we can lift the cover off, and I've already unscrewed the motor. I did have a couple of screws there, and for the rubber band powered car I also cut out that section so that we could access the axle. So. That little bit there covers that gear. It all pops apart quite easily. In fact, if I pull one of the wheels off, that might make life a bit easier. Okay, we've got a couple of the pegs there, one that side and one that side. That lifts the side of the gearbox off. Before I do that, we can see we've got this sort of yellowy coloured gear. We've got the flywheel and there's a white gear in there. White gear. It's also a washer just there. So it's one, two, three parts that we can see there, plus the flywheel. Now, because I've already taken it apart, I do know what's broken, but we'll go through it. Got a little nylon bush in there that the flywheel spins on. That gear there, this is a convenient time to show it, that sits there. So you wind up the flywheel by just turning the, wheel, turning the wheels. Big gear there, meshes with that smaller gear there, and then the big gear there meshes with the small gear there that's on the flywheel. The broken bit, can you see that black line just there? That's where this gear is split. So it's not gripping on the shaft or the axle properly. Just there, there is actually a knurled area where they've put some cuts in the axle so they splay out a bit and grip the inside of that gear. So that's what's really broken, that bit there. But we'll go a bit further. So we've established that turns that, then that turns that. In here, this little bit here is a ratchet. So I can force it round that way and it bounces over these little teeth. But if it goes the other way, it grips. And as far as I can tell what that's for is so you can actually wind it up in that direction. Because that way, that little arm that sticks out, the ratchet, grips. But if you turn it in the opposite direction, it's free to spin, so that's so that the flywheel can continue spinning when the car comes to rest, I think. I think that's what it's for. So if you jam the car in some way or other, the flywheel can carry on spinning, so it's not going to chew up all the gears with the shock of the car stopping. That's what I think it's for. 
Don't know, but I think it is. Whether it should have two arms on there, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, there should be another arm on there, so there should be two little arms sticking out. Another one around there, so that's obviously broken off as well. But I don't think that's a big deal. And then that flywheel, it's actually partially hollow. It's not quite as big as it looks. I think that washer there is actually to help hold that white gear in place because it just overhangs it a little bit. Say so that one's split so it's not gripping properly. All that splined area there, I called it knurled, but I think you'd probably call it splined. That little uh, bit that sticks out there goes into that, that hole there. Can we see that in the light? Yeah, in there. So, flywheel spinning, and if I stop it, that's the ratchet, so the flywheel can still spin even though the car's been stopped, and I think that's to protect the plastic gears. doesn't even wind it up. So it's that way only. I mean that could be the other purpose of that ratchet so that it doesn't wind up in reverse. That would make sense because if you're doing this with the car you only want it to be winding the flywheel up when it's going one way. That way. Yeah, so it may be less to do with protecting the plastic gears, although it will do that, and more to do with making sure you're only winding it. In one direction. That makes more sense now that I've said it, talked it through. Yeah, that's what that ratchet's for. Forget protecting the plastic gears, although it will do that. It's to make sure the flow wheel only winds up in one direction. Yeah, so there we go. Back together. But we won't be using it. Might be using the wheels and might use the axle possibly. And we'll have to cut this up quite a bit to make it into a radio controlled car. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running 
by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.